Hi, I'm Janine Eisler. I work over at Pascot Community Center. Um, today we're going to be doing art projects. So this time when you're sitting at home with your mom and dad, you can make lovely art projects. We're going to do a turtle today. Okay, we're going to do two. We're going to do a turtle. And all you're going to need is a paper plate, some tissue paper, green construction paper, a pencil, glue, and scissors. All right. Give me one sec. So this is my, I've named them. You can name your turtle anything you want. I just thought it was really cool to name them Yurtle the Turtle. Okay. So all you have to do is take your glue. All right. I used a paintbrush because I thought it was easier. You could use whatever you want. You could just pour the glue on the paper, the paper plate, however you want to do it. I'm just going to pour some on here. And there we go. Okay, you're just going to take your construction paper with your scissors. Be careful with your scissors. If you need help, just ask mom and dad. Okay, you're just going to cut little pieces of construction paper. All right, like I said, be careful with your fingers. You don't want to hurt yourself. All right, you just want to cut them into little pieces. All different colors because we want our turtle to be a rainbow. Because it's nice and bright and sunny, we want our nice all the different colors of the rainbow, okay? So you just take a little bit of paint, of glue, sorry, and you're gonna just put it all over your plate, okay? Did everybody know that turtles have hard shells? And the reason why they have hard shells is so that it protects them from other animals who might try to wanna hurt them, all right? And turtles live a really, really long time. All you have to do is put it, the tissue paper on all over. So you just keep going on and on. Just keep putting it on. I like pink and I like green. Those are definitely my favorite colors beyond blue. Oh, and sometimes it will stick on your finger. So you just push it off. It's only a little bit of glue and some paper. Okay. You're just going to put a lot of glue on, okay? Did you also know turtles are really cool? I think they are anyway. Diego, the ex Diego from Nickelodeon, he always has his, he always searches for, to help his turtle friends and all the special animals that he saves. So, but did you know that, di that turtles were back when dinosaurs were around? And you think everything is really old with no cell phones around. Well, turtles have been around a lot longer than mom and dad and grandma and grandpa, me, Chris, who you met, all the guys that you've met here over here, they've been around for a very, very long time. Back when the dinosaurs were around, they walk really, really slow too. They're one of the slowest animals. And what's really cool they lay eggs like chickens, right? But where chickens lay eggs and they lay it in their nest in a coop, turtles lay eggs, you ready for this? In the best place, they lay them on the beach. So when you go to the beach this summer, you might actually see, if you're super lucky, you might see some turtles laying their eggs, but we don't wanna touch them, okay? because turtles might bite you and you wanna just watch them from a distance like you do birds. Okay, you wanna make sure that they're safe. And the best way to make sure turtles are safe is by making sure that you clean up all of your garbage when you go to the beach, especially, I mean, gar your regular garbage like your, your food and all that stuff and your cans, of course, but you wanna make sure that you don't have any plastic bags or anything with plastic straws or anything like that because when they go into the ocean, the turtles actually, the sea turtles actually think that they're food because they love eating jellyfish. It's like when you eat a candy bar or you have a cookie, they're the best things in the world. I mean, what's your favorite cookie? I mean, think about it. My favorite cookies are Chips Ahoy cookies. Definitely my all-time favorite. They have the chocolate chips and everything. Well, turtles 
love jellyfish. And when a plastic bag goes into the ocean, they think it's a jellyfish. So they, they eat it and it's very dangerous for them because you wouldn't want to eat plastic, would you? It's not, it doesn't taste good and it, it's not good for you. But they think, they, think it's a, they think it's a jellyfish. So we have to be careful. Turtles actually like to eat, there are different types of turtles. So some of them like to eat animals and eat meat like we do. They eat worms and bugs and small fish and of course jellyfish. And then there are turtles like the ones that you could have in your house that eat leaves and veggies and lettuce. Those are really cool turtles too. Does anybody have a turtle at home? Because turtles are amazing creatures. Did you know that they're very, I, I think I told you, they're very slow. Very, very slow. So you're going to keep going all the way through doing your art project. Okay, you're just going to keep putting it on and on and on. And putting all your, constru your tissue paper with all your different colors all over the place. Okay? And you're going to cover your entire plate because that's the turtle shell. Okay? If you need more glue, you're just going to have to put a little more glue and that's okay too. Glue's a good thing. I'm all for the glue. It makes everything stick really, really well. Glue is the best thing on the planet right now because we could put glue everywhere on our plate. Yeah? So I hope everybody's having fun doing this art project because I love doing art with this stuff. It's so much fun just taking the paper and cutting it and doing all the different things. So keep going. All the different colors all over the place. Keep going. Okay. So many different colors. Just like all the colors of a rainbow. There's many different colors. What colors do you think a turtle is? Do you think a turtle is purple? Nah. What other colors? Think. Call them out. I'm thinking a turtle is green. They could be all different shades of green. They could be a dark green. They could be a light green. But they're so beautiful turtles. So, once you are done, let me move all my extra tissue paper over. Okay, once you are done with your outside part of your turtle, the shell, okay, you let it dry for a few minutes. That's okay. Okay, you're going to take your scissors, but you're going to have to be careful, okay? You don't want to cut your fingers or anything like that, so if you need help, you got to ask mom and dad for help, or your babysitter, or your big brother or sister, okay? We need, let's see, what does a turtle have? A turtle has a head, right? Let's see, let's count. A head, and he has two arms, two flippers, right? So it has two flippers, and two fins, and of course a tail. So we need what? One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, so we need to cut six things. So let's first cut the head, okay? So you take your green construction paper and your scissors. Like I said, be careful, okay? You're gonna cut out a big circle for the head, okay? So here's my circle for my head, okay? You're just gonna put that down to the side and then you're gonna cut out the two flippers, the front flippers. All right, they're not as big as the head. Okay, so here's one. One front flipper. And here's my second flipper. If you need to, just keep moving the paper around so this way it's easier for you to cut. Here's my second front flipper. Now I need two back flippers because they got to push themselves, right? So I got one. This back flipper does not want to cut very easily. Okay, so here's my one back flipper. And 
then my second back flipper. Okay, right here's my second one. And now my tail. Tail could be a little longer, okay? Just put that down. You see how my tail doesn't look like my flippers, okay? It's got like a little point at the end, okay? So that's what you gotta do. Okay, so here's my tail, my front flipper, and my head. You see the size difference, right? My big one, my tail with the point, and my smaller flippers, okay? Did you also know that turtles breathe air? That is one of the coolest things ever. They could swim for long times in the ocean, or in a pond, or in a lake, and then they could swim under the water for a long period of time. So it's a really long time. I, don't, I can't hold my breath as long as a turtle can. That's what I'm, I'm telling you. They're very cool animals. And we gotta be careful with them. We gotta make sure they live for a very, very long time. Oh wait, look, yellow. I like yellow. Yellow is a very cool color. It reminds me of the sun. I like yellow. Okay, so here's your shell. Got glue on me again. That's okay, right? We like glue. All right, so here's your shell. All right, you're gonna take your head. All right, you're gonna put a little bit of glue right here on the bottom. Okay. So we're gonna take our glue. You could use this type of glue. You could use the glue that you use in school with the, the stick glue, which is really cool to use because it turns colors. It goes from purple to clear, all right? You're gonna put it on the bottom. I wanna put it over here with green because I like green too. Okay, and you're just gonna put it on the bottom just like that, okay? So you have the head sticking out. Okay, so there's my head, okay? And now we have to do the front flippers. Okay, let's see. Put a little bit on the bottom. Okay, this is our front flipper, so we're gonna put it over here. Right, put it right there. All right, take our other front flipper. Put a little bit of glue. Or you could put a lot of glue. Totally however you want to do it. Okay, and you're gonna put it up here. Okay. Can everybody see the flippers? Okay. We're gonna do our bottom flippers. Has anybody ever touched a turtle? I mean, they're, they're pretty hard, the shells. And that's their house. Did you know that? That's where they hide. So the head goes in the shell and everything. Is our bottom flipper. So when a turtle goes in its shell, that's like he's running into his room. Not because his mom and dad sent him to his room because he didn't clean it, but because he likes going into his room. And we're gonna put the bottom flipper on. All right, so that's what we have so far, yeah? Now we have to put our tail. Remember, the tail is the one with the point on the bottom, okay? So we're just gonna put a little bit of glue right here. And we're gonna put it on the bottom. Now everybody's turtle is gonna look different. Yours is probably gonna look different from mine. Mine looks different from everybody's too, okay? So at that point, you're gonna take your pencil, all right? And we, I mean, our turtle needs a smiley face, right? So we need to draw a smiley face with our turtle. So you're gonna face the turtle towards you, okay? So you're gonna look at it so it's upside down, okay? So his head is down towards you, is down here, okay? So you're gonna put the head facing you. You're gonna put two eyes on the top towards the shell, see? The two eyes towards the shell, because this is your shell, okay? And then you're gonna draw a smiley face. Okay, and there's my smiley face, all right? And there's your turtle. And like I said, everybody's turtle is gonna look different. This is my friend's turtle. 
she made this one, I made this one, and yours is going to look different too. Okay? If you want to show me your turtles, that would be really cool. You could send them and we could see them on Facebook or whatever. Okay? But this is my turtle. All right, does anybody know what's coming up soon? St. Patty's Day, St. Patrick's Day. So what we're going to do today, we're going to do another art project because I really like art. We're going to make sun catchers, okay? It's a shamrock craft, okay? For this project, what you're going to need is you're going to need either uh, different color green construction paper. So I have like different colors here of, con of, sorry, not construction paper, tissue paper. Okay, you're gonna need black construction paper or any color construction paper you have at home. It doesn't have to be black. It does. You don't have to have green construction paper. Totally, what whatever you want. Art is very artistic. You can do anything you want, whatever colors you want. Okay, glue, a paintbrush for your glue, scissors, and a white crayon. Okay, and at the end, what we'll do is we'll go over to the window and we'll see what it looks like, okay? And it looks really super cute and very cool. Okay, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna first take your black construction paper and your white crayon, okay? Because white shows really good on black. Okay, and what you're gonna do, everybody's gonna practice with me. We're gonna draw a heart. Ooh. Okay, just on a heart, on a different piece of construction paper. So there's my heart. That's my practice heart. Okay, because that's how you're going to draw a shamrock. Okay, oh, I keep blowing them. Okay, so you're going to do one, not all the way, two, all right, so that's so far. That's what you're doing so far, okay? And then you're going to start over here at this point, all right? And you're going to go one, two to make the other heart. Okay, remember, you're not going all the way down. Okay? And then you're going to go, see, I'm doing this back. Go one, two for your other heart. You see how it's looking like a shamrock slowly? Okay? You're going to go up and you're going to make your stem. Okay, so here's your shamrock. Okay, so white crayon, and you see like there's a heart. It doesn't go all the way, so we're not going all the way down. So you're just doing it a little bit, a little bit, and then over here, and over here, you're gonna do your stem, and then over here with this part of the shamrock, and over here with this part, okay? It's only a three leaf for your shamrock, okay? All right, once you're done with that, what you're gonna do is, you're going to cut it out. Okay, so if you need help, ask for help. You're just going to cut, you're not going to cut on the white. Okay, you're going to cut right on the outside of the white. So I'm going to be here, and I'm going to cut on the outside. I'm not going to touch the white. I'm going on the outside, okay? Going all the way around. Okay? All the way around. Just keep going. I know it's hard because of all the little curves and all that good stuff. But try your best. I know you guys can do it. Okay. All right, so here is my shamrock. Now, this is the hard part. You might have to ask mom or dad or your older brother or sister or somebody older to help you. You have to cut out the middle of your shamrock. You have to cut it out, okay? So the best thing for you to do is just have a mom or dad hold it in the middle a little bit and just cut a little bit, all right? So you see how you don't see the cut, but if I move it, I can put my finger through the hole. Okay, you're just going to cut a little bit and you're just going to cut on the inside. Okay, when you're done with all that, your shamrock's going to end up like this. So you're going to have a giant hole in the middle of your shamrock. 
Okay, so take your time doing it, okay? So once you're done at that point, remember, your shamrock, and here's the white part on the outside. Okay, so you're not cutting the white part. You're gonna put your shamrock down. I'll move this over, sorry. Okay, we need green for our, our shamrock because shamrocks are green. They could be all different types of green. So the same thing that we did with the turtle, we're gonna take green tissue paper, different colors. So I got light green, I got dark green, and I got another color green in here somewhere too. And here's my other green, if it comes off. And my other green, okay? You're just gonna, oh, and here's my darker green too. See, I got a dark green too. See? There's all different shades of green. You're just gonna cut a few strips. Okay, be careful with the scissors. Okay. You're just gonna cut a few. All right, and then you're gonna cut them into squares like you did before for the turtle. Okay, just go cut, cut, cut. Okay, so now you have, don't forget to put your scissors down and be safe, safety with your scissors, okay? Remember, you don't hold the scissors like this when you're walking around, you gotta hold them the right way. Okay, you gotta hold them this way when you're walking with your scissors. Okay? Now, this is the hard part. You gotta be very careful. Here's your shamrock. You're gonna take your glue with your paint, with your paintbrush, okay? And you're gonna give some glue along the edges, okay? You're gonna go all along the edge, okay? You're gonna go, you're gonna go all the way around. Just do a little bit at a time, okay? So the glue doesn't dry because glue dries really quick, so you wanna take your time, okay? Let's go all the way around. All the way around, okay. So you see how it didn't go all the way? I just did some of it. Oh, it's kinda of floppy, okay? You're gonna take your green tissue paper and you're just gonna put it on it a little bit, okay? Cause you're gonna make the tissue paper touch each other. So you're gonna put it all over. Just every place that you put green, you put glue, you're gonna put tissue paper, the green tissue paper. Like I said, you can make it any color you want. You wanna put all green, you can put all green. You wanna put all pink, put all pink. It's your art project. You make it how you wanna make it. Okay? I wanna make mine all green, so I could do that, okay? Once you get to that point, you're just gonna keep going around for a little bit. Okay, I'm just gonna go a little more over here. Okay. A little bit more. So this way you could see how it's done, okay? Gonna put a little more on the sides. And the tissue paper doesn't wanna come up, so. Has anybody ever looked for the pot of gold at the end of a rainbow and found a leprechaun? I look for it all the time. When I look for, when I see a rainbow, I always look for the end of the rainbow. Maybe one day I'll find a gold, a pot of gold, right? But you never know unless you look, right? Take mom and dad and go look and it's fun to go out and go look to see what's at the end of a rainbow. All right, so once you have this part, once you have this part done, you're just gonna put tissue paper on top of the other tissue paper, but you're not gonna cover it completely, okay? You're just gonna, I'm gonna show you in a second what I mean. Okay, you're just gonna keep going all the way around. You see how it's keep go it keeps going down? That's what you're gonna keep doing, okay? You're gonna keep going. Okay. I know your hands are gonna get very, very sticky with this one, I'm sorry. But I promise it's a really fun project, okay? Just keep going all the way around. This one's a really fun project because it becomes a sun catcher. Does anybody know what a sun catcher is? 
It sounds like it is, right? It catches the sun in the window. So when you're done with your project, once it dries, you could put it on your window. And you could see the sun come through it in different colors. And it'll be very, very pretty. Lots of different colors. And like I said, you could use whatever color you want for your shamrock. You could put pink, you could put purple, you could put any color. All right, you could put blue. You could use whatever construction paper color you want. Make it as creative as you want. That's the point of art, to do everything creative, right? To make everything nice and fun and creative. Yeah? So. Here we go. So as you keep going, let's see if I can pick it up, because it's a little bit wet. You keep going all the way around, and you just keep going, and you keep going, okay? And when you're done, your shamrock is gonna look just like this. And do you guys wanna see what it looks like in the window? It will be really cool if we could see what it looks like in the window. Yeah? So we're gonna walk over to the window? Okay, so when you're done, and you're completely done with your shamrock, and it's totally dry, you get to put it up on the window, and this is what you get. You get a sun catcher, all right? Thank you so much, everybody. I hope everybody had fun doing art, and I'll see you guys all next time, all right?